having the, the benefit, the, the sad benefit, but the benefit of experiencing it, and now the, 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 the benefit of being a neuroscientist, yeah. what does a neuroscientist think of the addicted brain? Yeah, well, that was, of course, the ticket to writing a different kind of book. Stuff is, you know, stuff is changing in your brain all the time. Every, every moment of learning, of new experience, of novelty, of new kinds of awareness, there's, there's, there's uh, networks being formed. Right. And that's happening in drug addiction, but in and addiction to anything else, um, especially with drug addiction, because there's a very powerful emotional appeal that's driving the manufacture of dopamine, a particular neurochemical, which goes up to these circuits and says, okay, guys, it's time, it's time to get engaged, and, and let's just do this. And after a while, after that cycle is repeated time after time, you, uh, all the other goals that people pursue, friendship, love, food, sex, all become sort of meaningless and it's just this one goal that you want. So in a way, it's a natural process, but it's a natural process that becomes corrupted by substances that are incredibly attractive. You, you had a, a wife who enabled your behavior and really kept you addicted in a way, didn't they? Yeah, I don't want to put it quite like that. Um, oh, he, laying down in front of the car to prevent you from going to rehab or something like that, that's a problem. He did read the book. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, that counts as <laughs> contributing to your addiction. <laughs> Yeah, that was not a good night. <laughs> <laughs> you think? No, not a good night. That was the first night, actually, I stole something from, uh, I really actually stole something from uh, uh, a dwelling place. Um, so that... Stole to sell? No, stole to use. Yeah. You stole drugs? Yeah. Okay. A lot.